let's calculate the division of these equations on the screen. We are able to locate one equation divided by another equation. First things to do is rearrange and complete the numerator and rearrange the denominator. Let's do the numerator first. We we'll write it like this. It's a third degree polynomial, so we start by the third power, x cubed, then the second power, minus x squared. First power will be plus ox, and the independent term plus 3. This divided by the denominator, that only needs to be rearranged. But as we see, it's already arranged properly. Minus x squared plus 2x plus 1. When we've done this, we're going to take the biggest degree term of the numerator and we divide it by the biggest degree term of the denominator. That would be x cubed divided by minus x squared. We do the division plus divided by minus, it's minus, then x squared minus x cubed, it's x. And then we put it under the denominator. Now we multiply minus x by all this polynomial. If we write its term under the same term of the numerator. So that the terms are the same degree. Minus x times 1, minus x. If we get minus, we keep the minus. But if we get plus, we don't put anything. Minus x plus 2x minus 2x squared. Minus x minus x squared x cubed. But we don't put the plus sign. Once we've done this, we put a line right here and we change the sign to everything we've got. Minus, plus, plus. And then we do the operation. x cubed minus x cubed, it will be 0. Minus x squared plus 2x squared will be x squared. So oh, x plus x, it's x, and then plus 3. And we do this all over. We're going to do it until the degree of the polynomial will be less than the degree of the denominator. Now we see that the degree of the new numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 2. So it can be divided. We're going to take the biggest degree term of the numerator divided by minus x squared from the denominator plus divided by minus is minus and then x squared divided by x squared it's 1 we put minus 1 divided the denominator we multiply minus 1 by the old denominator minus 1 times 1 1 by e minus 1 minus 1 times 2x will be minus 2x and minus 1 times minus x squared will be x squared now we change the sign to everything we got minus plus plus we put the line, we do the operation. We put 0 first, then will be 3x, then will be plus 4. Now we see that the degree of the solution is uh, smaller than the denominator, so we cannot keep going. So we're done. Then we have the quotient minus x minus 1, and the, the remaining will be this right here. To prove that we've done the operation correctly, we can take the denominator and multiply it by the quotient, and then add the remaining. And we should get the polynomial that it's in the numerator.